Hi everyone, following up on my previous tutorial in which I explained the whole idea or approach behind solving linear differential equations using the integrating factor, I now work through a first example. We're told to find the general solution of the differential equation we're shown here. That is, 3 times dy dx plus 12y which equals to 15e of x. And I should say, we can tell right away that we're dealing with a linear differential equation here, simply by comparing it to what I would call the standard linear ordinary differential equation. And the fact that it's a linear differential equation is exactly what tells us, or what should trigger us to, use the integrating factor. And the method for doing so can be summarized in three steps. The first step, step one, we need to make sure that our differential equation is written in the form dy dx plus p of x times y, which equals to q of x. In other words, we need to make sure that there's nothing multiplying the dy dx. So looking at the example we have here, we need to get rid of this 3. And for that, all we have to do is divide both sides of this equation by 3. So that would be dy dx plus 12 over 3, which is 4y, equals to 15 over 3, so that's 5e of x. And that's our first step done, where all I did was divide every single term by 3. So we move on to step 2. And in this step, we need to find the integrating factor. So I'll just write find integrating, that's integrating factor. We usually call the integrating factor capital I of x. And to find it, we use the fact that it's equal to e of the integral of p of x. Where, to be clear, p of x is the function multiplying the y inside our differential equation. So in this example, p of x is just 4. And don't let the fact that there's no x here bother you. There is nothing wrong with having a function simply equal to 4, or any other number. That being said, I carry on. i of x is therefore equal to e of the integral of 4. And that leads to i of x equals to e of 4x. Notice here that I'm not writing any constant of integration. In fact, as soon as we look for an integrating factor, we'll always ignore the constant of integration. And so that's step 2 done. And we move on to step 3. And in this step, we start by multiplying the differential equation we have here by the integrating factor we just found. Once that's done, we'll use the product rule and solve the equation. So I'll just go ahead and write multiply, multiply, dE, as in differential equation, by the integrating factor i of x, and use the product rule. So I'll just write use product rule, product rule, and solve. All right, so multiplying this differential equation by e of 4x leads to e of 4x times dy dx plus e of 4x times 4 times y, which equals to e of 4x times 5 times e of x. And on the right-hand side, we notice that the product of e of 4x and of e of x will turn into e of 5x, and so we can write this equation as e of 4x times dy dx plus 4 times e of 4x times y, which equals to 5 e of 5x. And now for what is perhaps the most important part. If we look at the left-hand side of this equation, we can see the whole idea behind using the integrating factor. Indeed, we know that e of 4x is the integrating factor, that's i of x, but on top of that we notice that 4 times e of 4x is the derivative of e of 4x. In other words, it's di dx. And since we have i times dy dx and di dx times y, what we're actually dealing with here is a product rule. And so we can write the left-hand side as the derivative with respect to x of the integrating factor, so that's e of 4x, times y. And that's equal to 5 times e of 5x. And I should stop there for a second just to highlight the fact 
that once we've multiplied our differential equation by the integrating factor, the left-hand side of the equation should always turn into the derivative of a product, and so we can use the product rule. If it doesn't, then something must have gone wrong, and you should go back and check your working. That being said, I carry on. All I have to do now is integrate both the left-hand side and the right-hand side with respect to x. In doing so, the left-hand side turns into e of 4x times y, and on the right-hand side we have the integral of 5 e of 5x. That turns into e of 4x times y equals to e of 5x plus some constant of integration c. And now, to find the general solution to this equation, I divide both sides by e of 4x, which leads to y equals to e of 5x plus c over e of 4x. And that's the final answer. Notice that if we wanted to, we could also state our final answer as y equals to e of x plus c times e of negative 4x. Both of these answers would be accepted in an exam. And there we have it. We've just found the general solution for this differential equation using the integrating factor. And that's it for this tutorial.